Hey everyone, it's Les from Comfortable Shoes Studio here, and I wanted to do a quick follow-up to my last video about thermal printing cameras. Um, like I said in that video, I'm kind of hooked on these. I've developed a small collection of them. I use them in my art journal. I use them at work. I play with them pretty much all the time now. And yeah, so I just wanted to give you a little bit more of an idea and answer a couple of questions that people had about these. So these print thermally, like a register receipt. When you go to the grocery store, you do your grocery shopping and you get a receipt, this uses that same kind of paper. Uh, it, it's inside in the bottom here, it'll roll, it hangs out like that, close it shut, and uh, yeah, that is how that works. So it takes an image by there's a little bar in there and it heats up in little spots. It's like a dot matrix printer. This one is a 300 DPI, which is pretty low resolution. Um, some of them are, they, they range between 200 and 300 DPI. And um, you can get a pretty full range of darks and lights with that. It will um, do two styles of printing. That is that dot, dot style that I like. And then it'll do a smoother gray style. Um, you can see the dots in that image pretty well up in the sky, um, uh, particularly in that image. And you can see these images, if you are expecting and hoping for something that is super high resolution, you're not going to get it. You're going to be really disappointed. These produce a really low resolution image that is gritty and grainy, which if you've been here for any period of time, you know I like my gritty, you know I like uh, kind of that gritty, grimy art journal look. These fit the bill perfectly for me. Um, they might not, you might want only super smooth, high res images, and in that case, this is not for you. This is not gonna produce the kind of image you want. However, if you like the gritty, kind of kind of grungy look in an art journal, you're going to dig this. So that's the thing to remember about these cams. They claim some of them up to 48 megapixels or better. They are not. Um, they probably range between 8 and 12 megapixels in actual megapixel capability. Um, but then they're interpolated up to fit the higher resolutions that they're claiming. And, and in some cases, they're even, in, even interpolating for the 12 megapixel. Um, you know, they're just a low res camera. They, this, these cameras remind me of the camera I had on my old flip phone back in like 2006. If you are expecting and hoping for something like you're gonna get out of your brand new iPhone, your brand new Samsung, you're not going to get it and you're going to be really disappointed. Um, I, um, this is one of my favorite cameras, even though the printing is a little more slow, um, that is a thing to remember that your, these cameras have a range of how well they print. I keep this one on medium print. Um, and I have the date stamp off, I believe. The camera resolution is claims 12, 12 megapixels, um, but it's between that and three. Um, they are, you can also set it up to work as a dash cam, which I find hilarious. Um, I never use that. Um, all right, let's go back to print density. Um, I also keep it on medium print density on this particular camera. All of these cameras are going to give you something a little different in terms of print resolution, um, the settings, depending on the brand, um, can be wildly different. Um, but, uh, they're all print the same way and they do print on receipt paper, which uh, I'm just going to go ahead 
and answer the question that a lot of people have had or some of the comments people have made. And yeah, the receipt paper is not archival. Again, this is not going to be new information to anyone who's been on this channel. I have long talked about using non-archival materials in my art journal. Um, my art journal for me is a place to work out ideas, work out emotions, think about things deeply. I'm not making finished artwork in my art journal. My art journal is a working place. Um, so I use, have used receipts and things like that in my art journal for a long time. So the idea of making my own ephemera that is not archival doesn't, it sits perfectly fine for me. Um, you can get some paper, um, particularly that from this brand, Faux Memo, not sponsored, but if they wanted to send me free stuff, I would gladly review it um, and gladly use it. I buy a lot of their stuff. I've got a couple of their printers, really enjoy it. Um, but they make some paper and sticker paper that they claim will last for 20 years. Now, I have been adding receipts and whatnot to my art journals for 20, maybe more years. Um, and I have some receipts that have completely disappeared. There's nothing left on the receipt. And I have other receipts that have yellowed um, but can still be read. So your mileage may vary. It really depends on how they're stored, how you're using it, and if you're adding anything on top of the paper. So yeah, you could do that. Um, also, if you have one of these printers or you don't want to buy a dedicated camera, you can get a printer like this. This is going for right at under $30 right now on Amazon. Um, these will do a, the exact same sort of print as this camera. Um, you can take the photos on your cell phone, manipulate them on your cell phone so that they are black and white. Um, and then you can give it the little dot matrix kind of uh, filter depending on your camera and what app you use. And uh, then you can bring them into the Foam, Foam Memo app and print them out. I've done that multiple times in multiple ways with this Foam Memo printer. It is also a black and white printer, but you can get, again, not sponsored, you can get sticker paper in all kinds of different colors. This one is a nice kind of soft orange, uh, really like that paper. Um, so yeah, so just some, some thoughts on why you might want to, why you might not want to use one of these thermal printing cameras or printers. Now, I like the dedicated camera because I'm someone who grew up with a dedicated point and shoot. Um, I had a point and shoot that I used to keep in my pocket through college and high school. Um, just a little 35 millimeter job. And then, you know, I graduated up to a, um, a nice Canon point and shoot. And then when I went to digital, I went with a digital point and shoot. And for me, it feels natural to have a dedicated camera for shooting images. It just, it feels natural. It feels normal to me. And that might not be the case for you. You might want to use your phone and then a thermal printer. Um, so you can get a similar look but it just feels natural to me. And also I think when it comes to this camera, um, these aren't intimidating. They're, this is a kid's toy. Um, people that I know that don't like cameras or having a photo taken feel all right ha using this. Uh, when I, when I take their photo, they're not spluttering or telling me to get the camera out of their face. They feel pretty good with that. Um, you can do a lot of different things in your art journal. This is my most recent art journal. It is a composition book covered with thermal prints, thermal print stickers uh, in particular. I made a face and had my coworker take a picture of me and made stickers out of it because why not? Um, also took some, took some uh, photos, selfies of myself and printed them out with just the top half of my face. Uh, but anyway, um, here are some, you know, photos that I've taken over the last few days. Um, this is my trip to visit my family to, 
for Thanksgiving. Uh, bathroom stalls and the rest stop. The rest stop itself. A shot uh, at the gas station of the rear, the side mirror on the car. Um, some family members, I didn't ask them permission to put their faces on video, so I'm blocking them out because I don't, most of my family don't necessarily really want to be on YouTube. So some photos of family, more photos of family. My, I gave my nephew one of these and he took some candid shots. Um, eventually he'll be a pretty good little photographer, but he took a picture of the dog, um, more pictures of the dog. Um, some other candids that my nephew took, um, some candids I took, and uh, yeah, just just some simple stuff. Um, this whole journal is about experimenting with these cameras using different tools. This is jelly printing on top of thermal prints. Um, worked pretty well. Some Sharpies on sticker paper, um, more Sharpies on paper. You can get an idea of what Sharpies do, um, really experimenting with different alcohol inks on different papers for different effects and um, different markers, more jelly printing here and more alcohol. But anyway, like there's a page that I rolled out my brayer, stuck that awful photo I took of myself on sticker paper and then put a, a quote from a book that I read, um, some more experiments, some uh, split printing. That's with a different printer. But yeah, so anyway, these little cameras have a lot going for them in terms of inexpense, being able to produce a gritty, grungy photo. Um, these are from my trip home um, as we were packing up. Um, I took some photos of the family farm as I was walking the dog and just like you get these really grainy black and white images that I really dig. Um, I play around with them. I do a lot with them and so can you, but you can get a similar effect with this. Um, so yeah, so let me know if you have any questions about these things in the comments and I'll answer them the best I can. Um, I'm going to make some more videos about these cameras and about journaling with them. And uh, I'll try and answer any questions that I can. So thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.